Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Arting Blanky Blind Box collectible figures. Uh, certainly as a reviewer and somebody that's making videos for you guys to enjoy, one of the one of the joys that I really have doing is finding some really rare and really interesting looking collectible pieces, especially blind box figures. Spawn has done a lot of blind bag, uh, blind bag, blind boxed figures, and along the way I've found some really nice artist series pieces. Um, Blanky certainly is, is a good example of it, where we're getting one designed character, one sculpted piece, and then obviously just paint it differently to give us many different characters. Um, uh, certainly, if any of these videos, if you guys enjoy the stuff that you see, definitely would say check out the websites of the artists that produce these pieces, and you can get a real feel for, uh, for the craft that they're doing. And really, to say as well, if you are interested in any of their pieces, by all means, support the uh, the artist industry, and you can pick them up yourself. Having said that, this is a, a case, again a case of the blanky blind boxed figures. Um, really, on the front, let's bring the camera in here. On the front, you can see some of the images of the characters that we will be seeing inside. Got to say, I like this fishbowl character uh, individual, as well as certainly the zombie there as well. Um, on the side of the box, it says Blanky there. And on the back, uh, Blanky created by Todd Wanish, Wainish, W-A-H-N-I-S-H. Uh, you can go to www.arting.com, that's A-A-R-T-I-N-G.com. And anything on the back? No, nope, nothing on the bottom. So what we are going to do is just going to take a break. I'm going to get this opened up. Well, I'm going to open this up so we can kind of see it fully presented. And then we're going to have a look at the Arting Blanky Blind Box figures. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Opening up the case of Blanky, you'll see that there's 25, 25 boxes inside. Of course, in every video where I do case openings, we're going to have a look at each individual Unit. We're going to open up each one of them, but first let's have a look at the individual boxes. Arting Blanky uh, Designer Series 1. Once again, their uh, website down below, www.aarting.com. I love this artwork that's on the front. Also carried over on the top there with a the rocket ship. And on the side, some of the characters available. Let's see if we can bring the camera in a little bit here. Uh, we've got ourselves uh, Jake, Jack, P.O.I., McCoy, Manila, Igor Ventura, Star Dubine. On the other side there, we got Machuca, Machucha, Matucha, and Miss Shelby. And again, Spotter really apologizes if I mispronounce any of these na these names wrong. Uh, Seville, uh, Atomic 1970, Chupa and Cobra, and uh, Jack, Jock. Now, each one of these seem to have their own artists, of course, and I guess a place where that artist resides from. One is from Spain, Italy, for example, uh, Mexico, for the one that I'm looking forward to seeing, uh, USA, for Miss Shelby. And on the back, the Arting Collection exists to create high-quality, limited-edition art products from designs submitted and chosen by its members. Come celebrate with us. Bring the camera back a little bit here. Let's open up the first case and see which one we get inside. And inside, we get ourselves a pamphlet. Let's open up this pulley pamphlet out here, as well as the foil bag we will look at in a second. There is a closer look, a much better look, especially for myself. Uh, Chupa and Cobra, again from Italy. Svil, or Seville from Serbia. Atomic 1970 from Spain, Igor Ventura from Brazil, uh, JAOK, or JA, sorry, JAOC from Venezuela, Jack from Mexico, and on the other side there, uh, Matucha from Mexico, Stor Debine from Germany, McCoy from Canada, Manila from Mexico, 
Miss Shelby from USA, and finally, P.O. with exclamation mark from Argentina. Those are the characters that are going to be in this set. So let's open up the first bag and figure out, see which ones we've got. And Spot's going to go through each one of these to show you guys the design. So if you are interested in any of these, definitely you, you can pick them up yourself. Oh, this one's actually kind of neat. This is also from Canada, and if I'm reading this correctly, this is McCoy. Um, something we'll probably touch base on, maybe only in a couple of the figures, but I gotta say, these, I love the sculpts on these. I like how this, you got the, the, right, the regular head, and then you've got kind of the sculpted back. It's definitely got a lot of personality to the character. This looks like there's a little bit of rotation in the hands, probably just likely due to the way the, uh, the piece was put together, and uh, you have some head uh, swivel as well. This one, fittingly from Canada, is bundled up, perhaps for the winter. We've had some really pesky winners as of late. Uh, glasses, he's got himself, I guess, a scarf, a toque, some earmuffs. I gotta say, this guy is set. I wish I actually dressed as warm as McCoy here. Moving along, I'm just gonna put him down there. The next box. Inside this box. Once again, the foil bag, and get that cut open. And inside, we've got ourselves, we've got ourselves, again, J-A-O-C from Venezuela. Still relying, again, on the same body sculpt, just changing out and changing the paint on it. Very vibrant. I mean, the A, I'm liking the paint. I, I like the clean-looking paint that they've put on these pieces. I also really like the fact that you have so much artist co collaborations in this line. So you have people... First of all, the idea is that you can submit something from anywhere in the world, and then they they handpick it. And if they, you know, if you're a big, if they are happy with your designs, you can make it to this piece. I mean, that's. I like how artists can collaborate with one another, and even like uh, characters, like people like you, you, me, and everybody else that are watching these videos, all have the opportunity to see their stuff come to life. And as we are, you know, in the year of 2014, for example, we are really. I like that we are progressing to a point where you don't always have to be submitting material to the larger companies. It's these smaller companies that are really developing their own craft, and I like that so much. I'm moving him to the side. Let's open up the next box here. We have 25 boxes through. Well, actually, we've already done... This is the third one here. The next box we're going to open up. And just put that to the side. The next foil bag will reveal, just turn him around here. Ooh, I like this one quite a bit. This is Manila. Manila from Mexico. If I'm understanding this correctly, she is a little girl that is riding inside a giant robot. It looks like she's got herself, I guess those are her hands, little joystick hands, and she's piloting, piloting this robot. I like the battery on the back too, that's a nice touch. That is a really interesting design. Nice. Uh, and again, articulation. Head does rotate left and right. Uh, not a ball joint, it's just a, a standard swivel. Beautiful looking pieces though. Having a look at the next box. The next box will reveal to us, the viewers, and to myself shooting this video. The next one inside is, oh, We've got ourselves another duplicate here of, again, J-A-O-C. Wondering how you would pronounce that. Would it just be joke? Jack? Pronunciation certainly is not one of Spot's strongest suits. Where I seem to excel more so in is opening up boxes, which is exactly why I'm doing this right now. The next bag, the next box, will reveal to us inside and we've got ourselves once again another manila beautiful piece though that would actually make a fun looking t-shirt even just that robot would make a fun looking t-shirt 
the next box. Putting that to the side. Taking my Kanaisi. See, I told you, pronunciation is not my strongest suit. We got ourselves another Manila. Taking the next box. Trying my best not to make such a mess out of these boxes as I open them. And the next one in, oh, I, oh, nice. This is the one I wanted. Uh, this is Jack G, I'm oh, sorry, J-E-C from Mexico. Little walker. Nice. I like the scar at the top there. Perhaps a brain was removed. Some band-aids on the on the back. That's I don't think it's going to help him very much. And uh, I guess these are uh, the artists. So, for example, again, Jack G E C would be the artist that designed this. Uh, once again, head articulation. Uh, not really so much he uh, hand articulation. You can kind of rotate the hands, but uh, I wonder if more of it relies on the fact that it's just the way it was pegged into place. Once again, that nice, interesting looking shape to there. This zombie's got a bit of a bigger butt. Love him. This actually might be my favorite right here, Jack. Opening up the next box. Try not to drop it on the floor either. The next box will have inside Another Jack. Yeah, actually a couple of these. They'd be really nice on a desk. I also like the uh, detailing on the mouth and right around the eyes. That's a nice touch as well. Put him to the side. If you are to count these off, we are down to what well, we got 15, 16. This is the 17th here. Once again, that website, if you guys are interested, is www.artingaartin.com. Check out some of the other work that they're producing. Support the artist craft. And we've got ourselves McCoy. Once again, McCoy. Um, this certainly would be a line that I'd like to continue. Um, I think as far as I know, they've only done the first this first line. But uh, it's definitely a, a very interesting looking design series. Opening up the next bag. We've got ourselves uh, Miss Shelby from USA designed this. Miss Shelby. Kind of got ourselves an astronaut. Kind of looks like the Little Prince. Anybody, anybody remembers the Little Prince? Some air tanks on the air hoses on the back there that lets the astronaut <sighs> breathe, not so much suffocate. Very nice indeed. I mean, it kind of looks like these were taken right out of like an artist's kind of like a comic book panel. Really like it. Opening up the next box. Spot's getting a little fast with opening these. I know if you were going to comment on that, you don't have to. I, I noticed that as well. The next bag inside. We've got ourselves Atomic 1970 from Spain. Really nice looking piece. The red, the white. Oh, on the top it says 70. Very nice pieces. And opening up the next bag, next box. I keep on saying bag because I guess once you get inside the box, you've got yourself a bag inside that. Opening up the next bag, we have inside another Atomic 1970. Put that to the side. Next box. We are now down to 12 boxes. This is technically the 13, lucky 13. Lucky 13, and we've got ourselves uh, Svil, uh, C V E L E, Svil from S uh, Serbia. This happy child has consumed some. Um, 
mountain stick, perhaps a fish, and a pill. He is happy. Oh, there's his bum. A little happy kid. Kind of looked like me when I was younger. Although my insides weren't as visible when I was younger. More so now, not so much back then. The next box, we will be opening up of the Blanky Designer Series 1. And inside this one, got ourselves another Sveal, or Sveli. Again, uh, C-V-E-L-E, -E, Sveal. The next box. I'm looking forward to that Igor Ventura from Brazil. The one that kind of had that lobster in a fish tank. I thought that was kind of cool. And opening up the bag here. Next one we got inside is another duplicate of Miss Shelby. Let's put that to the side. If you certainly are at any point, you yourself, the viewer watching this, if you have an artist series of uh, collectibles that you produce, you would like to reach out to Spot, you can certainly do that as well. I'm always, again, looking forward to reviewing uh, new, again, designer vinyl pieces. Some of these, again, are really incredible. Uh, we got ourselves Chupa and Cabra from Italy. Is, I guess that's a cat. Someone's under inside a fish tank. Probably regretting their choices now. Nice stripe work on the uh, on the piece itself. Beautiful pieces. We are now down to uh, eight. This is actually the ninth piece here, the ninth, ninth box. And opening this up. Uh, I know you guys always enjoy these unboxing videos. I certainly love doing them as well. We get ourselves another Chupa and Cabra. Put that to the side. We're down to seven. Seven boxes. I keep saying seven, but then really technically I never count the ones I'm holding. So this technically still would be the eighth. The eighth box. We get ourselves an Igor Ventura. And we got ourselves an Igor Ventura. Nice. Now this one actually looks like it's a water cooler. Something that you would you would have conversations with at the at your office. Talking about how the weekend was. How was your weekend, Cindy? Oh, weekend was pretty good. How about yours? Oh, I had to help someone move. Oh, such a drag. On the back there's even a plug for the water cooler. This is where you put your glass. Although, if I saw this in the water cooler, this lobster with what appear, appears to be a mustache, I don't know if I would get a drink. But there's the hot, there's the cold. I generally go with the cold. That's me. I kind of like the, I kind of like getting water after somebody has already gotten the cold water, so it's not ice, ice cold, but it's still cold. This now is the seventh box. And getting this one opened up. Got ourselves another Igor Ventura from Brazil. Put that to the side. And opening up the next bag. Oh, nice. This one is P.O. Exclamation mark. Po or just PO, like PO box. This one is kind of I think I know why I like this one so much. Because I love the character of Two Face so much. This is kind of a half and half. One side perhaps evil, the other side good. Very nice. A little skull on his belt. Skull also carries over to his forehead there as well, or I guess his nose area. Uh, articulation, once again, if you uh if you are new here, hello. By the way, if you're new, hello, welcome aboard. His head does rotate, 
and of course his little arms, which uh, I don't think I mentioned before, but are more like a little rubbery piece versus the plastic that uh, makes up the majority of the, the uh, figures themselves. P.O. or Poe. Poe. Next box, the fifth last box in the, once again, the Arding Blanky Series 1 Designer Series figures. Opening up the next box. The next box, the award for best Blanky goes to, we got ourselves another Poe. I'm gonna say so far. So far, I think my favorite might be, might be this guy right here. But you know what? They're all beautiful pieces. Really, really nice pieces. I, uh, I'm, I think I'm gravitating more towards the zombie just because I like zombies. Four more to go. Let's opening up the next box. And this, oh, nice, we got a new one here. This one actually is M-A-T-U-C-H-A -A Matucha from Mexico. Oh, there it is right there. Kind of looks like, hmm, I don't know. Kind of looks like it's marshmallow with like sprinkles on it. Kind of looks like a cupcake. She's very happy though. Perhaps in mid-song. I wonder what she's singing about. Maybe she's singing about Saturdays. Everybody loves Saturdays. There's not nearly enough songs about Saturdays. You never hear a song about Sunday. Not very many Sundays, at least. Who really wants to sing about Sundays? I know I don't. Sunday is fast approaching, at least at the time that I'm shooting this review. It's fast approaching. Oh, the next one we've got is Star Dubine, or S-T-O-R, so I guess that'd be Store. A store to buy from Germany. A little weeping woman. On the back, we've got Amor, Passion, different languages there, Dead, Life. Really nice though. Put that to the side. We've got two left. Two left in the artist's series, Designer Series 1 from Arding Blanky. The second last box will reveal to us taking this, cutting this open, will reveal to us another Matucha. Matucha? Very nice. Now I'm just trying to think just trying to think if there's one we actually have not gotten yet. No, you know what? I think we have gotten all of them now. Which really stands to the reason, obviously, that if you get a case, the likelihood you're probably going to get the entire set. That's usually how it goes with most uh, sets, most uh, uh, vinyl pieces and other uh, blind box pieces. The final bag, right here, well, you know what, let's bring the camera back a little bit. The final bag for the Arding Blanking, uh, Blanky Series 1, Designer Series Vinyl Figures. The final bag, inside we've got ourselves... Got ourselves another store Dubine. And again, that's S-T-O-R, and then new word D-U-B-I-N-E. Dubine. Spot again apologizes uh, for mispronouncing any really of these names. But uh, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this line. It, it, it's remarkable how, first of all, you can take a figure that's just really a head and then a shape like this, and you can have so many different versions and interpretations to this design. How you can have something like store to bind, and then on the end of the flip end of the scale, you've got something so uniquely different, uh, such as Seville or Seville. Again, it just shows what somebody can do where you have, you know, where you have two different people from two different parts of the world designing pieces. And uh, I, again, I really like that. Um, it, it's it's such a, a fantastic idea to include people from around the world. You can kind of see where, perhaps due to political reasons or really due to the way that their their lives are in those in those places of the world, that you you get so many different interpretations of maybe one common message or one common idea to them. 
one may perceive something as art, whereas someone else may perceive uh, something like this as their idea of art. But either way, it's a really neat idea. And uh, again, I certainly was very happy to bring this to you guys. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Arting Blanky Collectible Series. Let's bring them in right there. The Collector, Collector Designer Series 1 Blind Boxes. Once again, you can go to www.aarting.com if you'd like to learn more. And stay tuned, guys. The spots are going to have more collectible spots heading your way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.